If uh, they know the answer to the question, they get a point. It's out of 10, there's five, there's five questions a piece. But the trick is, is that one of them will not be able to hear the, question, the answers being given. And the way I'm gonna do that, it's gonna go over here for a second. Hang on. It's a very high tech situation over here. I have a playlist that I put together. Do you guys like 80s? Yeah. Fantastic, if you don't, that's all I got because it's an old iPod. Okay, so, okay, let me just get this together. So, right, so, you're all gonna be playing along as, as a crowd. We're gonna be listening to their answers as we go along. Uh, Ala, you're gonna be in the cone of silence to begin with. So I'm just gonna, here we go. Put it over, the, you put it over yourself there, there we go. Excellent. Okay, what's the first song I'm playing here? Oh, Barbie Girl, yes, there we go. Excellent. There you go. Can you hear us? Can you hear us, Ala? Ala, 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 Ala. No, she can't, fantastic, I bought the right ones. Okay, so, Jay's gonna answer five questions. And they're going to take off the headphones. She's going to try to get the same answer. If she gets it, you guys are going to go wild, you're going to go wild and crazy, okay? And you're going to keep score. However, if she, she doesn't get it, you're going to go like, ooh. So let's try it out. Give me your best cheer if they match. Go. Mostly good from this table, fantastic. And uh, let's give, give me your best boo if they don't match. You guys are always more enthusiastic about that, okay. Ella has no idea what's going on. She's just listening to Barbie Girl right now, okay. So, let's hit that track, Mr. DJ. First question for you, Jay. Just a little bit lower for me, thanks. What about Ella do you find most attractive and why? Uh, the fact that she challenges me, and because I've not really been challenged too often before. <laughs> okay, okay, that's a great answer. Yeah, that deserves a round of applause. That's fantastic. Okay, I was expecting like normally I just get like her butt. So like it's pretty good. All right, it's sophisticated. Okay. Thank you. Next question: Where was your first date, and how much did you spend? Uh, Sydney Aquarium, and I spent, I think, what are the tickets, like 38 each? Let's go, 76, 74, 76? So, let's call it 76 bucks, so Sydney Aquarium, 76 bucks. I'm gonna go with that. Okay, how you doing? She has no idea what I just said, okay, great. <laughs> Next question, make sure you're keeping attention for this face. Nick, question number three. Describe your wedding night as a movie title. Okay? Um, <laughs> so set the scene, you guys are done, the cars picked you up, you're back home. <laughs> I've been reading my notes. So, yeah, this is multiple choice. Oh, multiple choice. A, Superman. B, Free Willy. <laughs> C, Gone in 60 Seconds. Or D, Pee Wee's Big Adventure. <laughs> I'm gonna go D. <laughs> all, right. all right, I like it. It's nice. <laughs> Number four, what is the most romantic gesture, gesture you have ever done for your wife? Um, proposing. Oh, <laughs> I feel it's pretty romantic, yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> It's kind of boring, but okay. <laughs> and number five. You're on a deserted island, set the scene. You're on a deserted island, but you're stuck there with one of your new in-laws. Okay. okay. Uh -oh. Which one would you like it to most be and why? <laughs> Alice's mom. <laughs> why? Uh, because she's a fantastic lady. Oh, that's fantastic. Let's hear a round of applause to Jay, he's the final round. How you doing? I'm okay, good. <laughs> okay, enjoying the music? Uh, Barbie girl, I'm a Barbie girl. <laughs> <laughs> that's so good. All right.
So I asked Jay these questions. Yes. The challenge now is for you to be able to get them correct. And they're all going to be keeping an eye, all right? You, you're going to get a chance to respond afterwards with your own set of questions, okay? So. No, 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 you've already done these questions. We're gonna get, you're going to get Barbie Girl in a second, mate. Don't worry. So question one was that I asked Jay, what about you does he find most attractive and why? And remember, you're trying to get the same answer he did. It's your wedding, you can have two. Um, my legs? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna tell you, I was very surprised. He did not say a single part of your body. It's not a part of my body. No, surprisingly, yeah. My kindness? No. Yeah. Oh, what do you reckon? Yeah. Oh, that's a half half. Jay, what did, to tell everybody what you said. Your confidence in how you challenge me. Oh, he still wins that point regardless, doesn't he? She's like, oh, I don't think so, I do that. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to give that half a point, let's say. <laughs> Where was your first date and how much did you spend? I think I spent... Uh, our first date was the, at the aquarium, but before we, the, we went to the bar have some drinks. <laughs> For the aquarium ticket he paid, which was a surprise. But then I had... <laughs> I had two wines, and he had a vodka something. And I'm not sh I don't remember who paid at that point. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't mention anything about the bar and vodka and anything like that. You know what he said? Okay, half points again. He did say Sydney Aquarium, and he said he spent $76. <laughs> <laughs> Nine would be correct answer, but he put on extra dollars on top. All right, fair enough. <laughs> oh man, this is so good. Okay, next up, I asked Jay. I set the scene for him. The night's done. The car's taken you away. It's your wedding night, and I asked him to describe your wedding night as a movie title. But there's multiple choice. Okay, so the choices were A. Where, where are you going? Just to the loop. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> no shame. That's all right. No, no, no. Number one or number two? <laughs> Don't tell me, please. <laughs> A, Superman. B, Free Willy. C, Gone in 60 Seconds. Or D, Pee Wee's Big Adventure. I have my own answer, but I'll answer your questions. What do you think he said, remember? The last one. Yes, he said that, yes! <laughs> okay, what's your answer? Pineapple Express. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're adding to my list now. That's, that's pretty good. I like that. It's nice. It's nice. Well, you've already got a kid, so you know how it works, so... Number four, I asked him, what is the most romantic gesture he's ever done for you? There was something. <laughs> um, this was many, uh, but the most romantic to me or to him? No, no, so the, the thing that he's done to you, yeah. <laughs> well, the most romantic was his proposal. Hey! Nice! Nailed it! Good on you, that was, that was great! Alright. It's a bit concerning you took so long to figure it out, but I mean, like, you got this. <laughs> Last one, I asked him, he's on a desert island, uh -huh. but unfortunately, not only is he stuck on the deserted island, he's stuck with one of his new in-laws. Which one, I asked him, which one he would most like to be stuck on the island and why? It depends if he wants to burn karma or accumulate karma. <laughs> <laughs> so if he wants to burn it, he's going to stay with my mom. Yeah. 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 <laughs> he will burn the tires for sure. Yeah, if, but... he want, 
if he wants to accumulate karma, he has to stay with my dad and his friends. Oh, there's more people, jeez. Okay, let's hear a round of applause for Alan. That was pretty good. Overall, pretty in sync. Okay. All right, boss. I don't know what song we listen to now. Uh, girls just want to have fun. Sure. Fantastic. There we go. All right. There we go. All that. He was worried about uh, getting uh, uh, color on his um, white jacket, and he has definitely done it. Okay. Fantastic. So. <laughs> All right. Next questions. Here we go. Allah. So remember, you've got to get into he, he, your, it's your questions. He's going to try to figure it out. But I want your honest answers. Yeah. What about Jay do you find most attractive and why? His eyes. <laughs> why? Because they are like, an, like a mystery, like an enigma. Like an ocean. Like an ocean. That's really beautiful. I like that. Nice. I highly doubt he's going to say that, but like, that's fine. <laughs> Okay, next question, number two. What is Jay's most annoying habit? TV at night. Really? Like, okay, tell me more. He falls asleep to a TV. <laughs> and I have to use earplugs while being sleeping in a different room. Oh, so he snores at the same time? No, we sleep separately, but I find it annoying that he has reliance on TV so much. Oh, rather than cuddling with you, it's... A... Oh. Just being quiet and, <laughs> and having darkness all around us when I fall asleep. Darkness and silence, yeah. yeah. Pillows sort that out. Okay. Um, number three. Oh, that's great. He's in trouble. Yeah, he is in trouble. What is the first thing Jay touches in the morning? <laughs> He's late. He's vape. Just straight away, like nothing else, not the phone, not his own child, not you. Maybe his face and then his vape. Like, oh my god. I'm gonna take your first answer though, but okay, he's vape, alright? He, he vapes all the time. I don't know, but I think it's the first thing he touches because it's always there. That makes sense, that's a logical answer. Okay, I'll take it, I'll take it. Next one, number four. So, think of this you and Jay buy a parrot. You know how parrots talk back yeah. to you, all that kind of stuff, yeah. So, the parrot is living in your living room for its entire day, since the moment you got it. It's never moved. What word or phrase does the parrot learn by living in your living room? I don't know. You? You. You guys say you a lot? We say you to each other. Oh, instead of like, like, like honey or doll or you just say you. You. <laughs> Love it. So romantic. Okay. <laughs> Sleep separately. You. Okay. <laughs> Can you be quiet over there? Okay, great. I love it. So good. Last question, all right? Last question. Oh, no, 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 it's a trick. I, I appreciate the honesty. Okay, last one. Jay's outside. He's mowing the lawn. It's a really, really busy, uh, stressful day for him. He's done it all for you. He comes back in, sweating. You want to, you know, you want to, like, touch him for two seconds. You're like, no, 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 I need a shower, right? So he goes into the shower, comes back out of the shower. You're reading a book on the bed in your separate bed. And... <laughs> He comes out with a towel on, but you left the window open. All of a sudden, a gust of wind comes in and the towel disappears. Yeah. And immediately, a car, a vehicle comes to mind when you look at your glistening husband. Multiple choice. A, a Ferrari. B, a stretch limo. C, a big, massive Ford Ute? Or D, an old Volkswagen Beetle with two flat tires? C. A massive Ford Ute? Yes. Okay, all right. 
Let's hear a round of applause for Ella. That was fantastic. How'd you go, boss? It was all right. Yeah, what'd you listen to? Girls just want to have fun. And then, and then something else started, but I didn't know what the name was. Ah, oh, fair enough. Yeah. What, what have we got here? Uh, All That She Wants by Ace and Bass. Come on, man, that's classic 90s. All right. Okay. All That She Wants. Okay. <sighs> I do offer therapy if you guys need it afterwards. So here we go. Question number one I asked her. I, I asked you the first time, so it's now her turn. What does she find about you? that she finds most attractive and why? What do you think she said? I hope it's not a physical attribute. <laughs> and I'll go with my... humor? No? She does not find you funny. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a physical attribute? <laughs> no, it's not a physical attribute. No, she didn't say that at all. She said your eyes. Oh. That's physical. No, that is physical, yes. Yeah. 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 But uh, I, I told her that you were not going to answer that at all. That's true, yeah. Why. Yeah, of course. <laughs> she said that because your eyes are a mystery. You're an enigma. You, she gets lost in your eyes. Forever. It's very beautiful and poetic. It was, it was gorgeous. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. But it was wrong, the answer. Yeah, though, it was so. <laughs> Number two. What is your most annoying habit? As a couple. Uh, either snoring or keeping the TV on. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, she was so annoyed by that. And she's like, and I found out that you guys live in separate beds, so it's like, you know, like she's like, but you you managed to like she wants quiet. That's all she wants. I know. And what what do you fall asleep to? What like Lord of the Rings or? No, no, no. Like Seinfeld, Simpsons. Yeah. Classic shit, mate. Classic. Yeah, so good that you fall asleep to it. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> Number three. All right, we're doing well so far. Sort of half half. Yeah. You know, one point each. What is the first thing you touch in the morning? <laughs> <laughs> and this is her answer. Her answer. Yeah, not yours. Hers. Oh, I hope it wasn't something naughty. <laughs> you tell me. Be honest. I'm gonna go the non-naughty route and go with my mouse, my laptop. No, no it's not. It's not your mouse. Have another go. Is it my junk? <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh no, no, no. She, no, no. Try again, one more time. Oh, God. <laughs> what do I touch in the morning? I mean, is it something like, I don't know, the, the blanket? That's like a typical thing that somebody touches, right? I'll help you, I'll Am help you. Am I being you. too logical with this? You really are. She okay. said your vape. Oh? Yeah, okay, yeah. No, that's, fair. <laughs> that's fair, it's up there, it's definitely up there. She said it's it's always around. That's so. true, that's definitely true. Yeah, yeah fair enough. <laughs> See, she knows you, she knows you. Let's see if we put it in his pocket right there, there we go. <laughs> Next question. I, I set the scene and I said that uh, you've got home, you've decided to buy a parrot. Okay. And the parrot lives in your living room. What is the one word or phrase that the parrot would learn the most and repeat back from having lived in your living room for the, all of its life? Uh, like, Hades no? Or... <laughs> um, uh, Odin something? Oh, I don't know. No, she said something incredibly way less romantic. Way less romantic. Is it like shut up or something like that? <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, she said you. Oh, yes, we do say you a lot. We just point at you. <laughs> <laughs> what comes after you? Is it a good thing or a bad thing? That's all we need to say. You. <laughs> so, like, just one word says a thousand words? That's so... it. That's it. That is incredible. <laughs> that is incredible. That is, that is how every relationship should function, you know? Don't have to say anything, that would stop all divorces, everything, just you. Oh, okay, yeah, fair call, all right. Last question. Yeah. You guys are doing right, you're doing it well. <laughs> Am I the... Yeah. Am I the... No, yeah, you, you're doing it right. I've had yeah. worse, so, yeah. Okay, so I asked her, I said, I set the scene, I don't know if you like doing this or not, but you're out there, 
mowing the lawn. We don't and have a lawn. You don't have a lawn. Let's, have, let's imagine you have a lawn. Yeah, okay. You've been out there all day, it's a hot summer's day, you mow the lawn, you finish up, you come in, she's like, I want to hug you, I want to kiss you, you. And you're like, no, 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 I need a shower first. So, you jump in the shower, she's reading a book on the other bed that she sleeps on, and as you come out, you've wrapped the towel, but you did, she did one thing wrong, she left the window open. So, a gust of wind immediately comes through, blows your towel away, she sees you in all your glory, and she thought of a vehicle. It's one of four choices. A, a Ferrari. No. <laughs> B, stretch limo. Definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> Is your honest? C, a massive Ford Ute. Or D, an old VW Beetle with two flat tires. <laughs> Meep. Meep. I mean, it depends if she was trying to be kind or not with this answer. I think the, the, the Ford, what was it, the... A massive Ford Ute? Yeah, I, I, I like to think it's that. Yeah! <laughs> Nailed it! Fantastic, I mean, uh... But, but I also would have appreciated the last one. Oh, the, the, the V-dub as well? Yeah. yeah, that, that be good. That's pretty, I, I appreciate that. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear a round of applause. Lisa Vimes. I'm going to say what, about what, uh, just over half, correct? I think that was pretty good overall. Fantastic.